making priority early on. More and more women are choosing to wait to have children. But how long should you wait? How long can you wait? CNN medical correspondent Elizabeth Cohen has our continuing series looking at changes through our 30s, 40s and 50s. If you take a lesson from Hollywood, it seems you can wait practically forever to have a baby. Actress Jane Kaczmarek gave birth at age 46. Holly Hunter had twins last month at the age of 47. And Gina Davis was 48 when she had her twins. And now, the reality check. Getting pregnant at nearly 50 is extremely difficult. The misconception is that you're going to always have eggs and you're always going to have a chance of getting pregnant even into your 50s, and that's not true. As a woman ages, her eggs begin to die off. Doctors say fertility starts to decrease in your early 30s. This graph shows how quickly it happens. Each month, a 30-year-old woman has a 22% chance of conceiving a baby. A 40-year-old has an 8% chance of conceiving. And at 50, less than 1%. Kristen Ray learned that the hard way. She's only 32, and yet she struggled to get pregnant three years ago. I was just shocked. I was thinking, I'm too young to go through this. You know, this is somebody who's in their late 30s or early 40s going through this, not this early. <gasps> there you go. You got it. You see Kristen it? needed fertility treatments to get pregnant with Samuel. She's expecting again after even more treatments than the first time. As women get into their 30s, they're more likely to encounter fertility problems such as hormone issues or mental problems. Kelly Adam is 42. She tried for two years before finally getting pregnant with her first child, Mary, with the help of fertility treatments. Mess the heartbeat. Now she's five weeks pregnant, and this time it took even more treatments. Our little jelly bean. Yay. For women in their 40s, eggs are usually the problem. Their eggs are aging and they don't have as many as they used to have. Of course, fertility varies greatly woman by woman. Women get pregnant easily, even in their early 40s. You don't have to be desperate like Marissa Tomei's character in the movie My Cousin Vinny. My biological clock is taken like this. But on the other hand, fertility experts say don't wait too long. Having a baby after 43 often only happens with eggs donated by a much younger woman. Now, what we haven't mentioned here is men. A lot of times when couples have trouble conceiving, they assume it's because the woman is having problems. But when a couple has these problems, has trouble conceiving, they need to get both the husband and the wife checked out. Same. So what exactly does one have to do if they're having fertility problems? What, what can people do? Well, the first thing you need to do is go to the doctor and don't wait. Don't wait too long. Usually doctors say around six months, you should go to the doctor and say, hey, we're, we're not conceiving. What's going on here? Sometimes it's a relatively easy problem to fix. Sometimes a woman needs to go on hormones and that's the only thing she needs to do. Sometimes artificial insemination needs to happen. Sometimes in vitro fertilization is the solution. And that's where egg and sperm are actually joined in the Petri dish. Now, what you're seeing here is an interesting procedure. This is an actual blastocyst that will become a fetus once it's been a woman and they're testing it to see if it has any genetic abnormalities. Now a great place to find out about fertility clinics and their success rates is the CDC website. They go through each fertility clinic in the country clinic by clinic and talk about their success rates for various fertility treatments. Elizabeth Cohen reporting to us from Atlanta.